Hey everyone, Pink Mac here, and I have a video that I wanted to do for you. This one is a little bit different than um, the things I've usually done. Instead of a product review, this is going to be a software review. And as you can tell from the name um, of this video, it is about the five top priceless Mac apps. And when I say priceless, I think you know what I'm alluding to. Um, I mean priceless in every sense of the word. One, they're free apps, um, so you don't necessarily pay for them, which is pretty cool. And the second thing is that they are priceless. They are completely valuable and, you know, invaluable. They're something that I use frequently. Um, and I really think that my Mac experience would be completely different without them. So without further ado, um, I want to go through these one by one for you um, and test them out a little bit. Okay, so the first Mac app, free Mac app, priceless Mac app that I want to show you is um, a utility called App Cleaner. Here it is there. Okay, what App Cleaner is basically a way for you to delete applications off of your computer um, without fear that you've left other little you know files system files and things like that on your computer now there is really no way of uninstalling a program or an application on the Mac it's not really built in uh, a lot of times people you can just you know drag and drop an app that you don't want to use into the trash can but that doesn't mean you're going to get the system files associated with it and that's what app cleaner does it will delete not only the application but all the system files if there are any now not everything will have system files but um, if it does it'll take care of them too so just as a little test I'm going to show you it's really easy to use after you've opened it all you have to do is drag the file the application uh, program that you want to delete into it and it takes care of it for you. So I actually have this to do program that I was trying out called do it. Um, it you know it was cute you know it was nice but you know I really didn't end up using it so I'm just going to delete it. So I drag and I drop it and app cleaner says that there's one file found. Okay so this one didn't have other associated uh, system files with it so it was just one file and it's deleted and all, all of a sudden it is gone. It has been thrown into the trash. So that is App Cleaner. It's really simple, really straightforward, uh, really useful. Okay. Second application I wanted to show you was Handbrake. Now, I think um, maybe some people are familiar with Handbrake. Basically what it is is it is a program that allows you to take your DVDs or movies that are on your computer and reformat them so that you can use them on other devices. So it's really useful. It you know you don't have to buy, spend ten, fifteen, twenty dollars on movies and the iTunes Store when you have a whole collection of DVDs at home that you just need to reformat. So as you can see, I already have uh, my Sex and the City movie DVD in there. So I'm just using this as a test to show you. Basically, when you bring it up, it's going to come up with this you know menu that it's going to show you your all of the you know your files on your computer and it's going to tell you to select which one you'd actually like to use and I'm going to open the Sex and the City movie and if you can hear my um, computer's doing its thinking right now and it starts scanning the disk um, and this takes really just a few minutes a few moments not minutes look it's already on 3 of 10 um, it's scanning the titles so um, I'll show you. I'll go through this a little bit. Let's see. I'm just going to show you that I I usually do mine for iPod, iPod high res. That's fine for me. Now from here, this title menu, you're going to search. You're going to see there's nine titles here. Well, only one of them is the movie. All of these other ones are little previews and snippets, one minute, five minutes, etc. So you're going to cl click the, you know, whatever title is the longest, and that is your movie. It's gonna, here's the destination. Here, see it's chapters one through 39. All you'd have to do is hit start. And then it would um, encode the video into a smaller format for you. So I'm not gonna do that now because I don't actually want to 
I don't actually want to copy anything right now. Okay, so the next app I want to show you is Hideaway. Here it is, right next to Handbrake. Okay, what Hideaway is, is it's this really, you know, simple little app for you to hide files and folders. Um, there really is no way, other than buying expensive um, applications or software to hide an individual fire file or an individual folder. So if let's say you have you know a file that you want to hide. I have one here that I created called secret files. But what it's going to do is it's just going to hide it from view. So someone who's just on your computer won't see the file um, unless they you know reveal it again. So let's do this. Let's hide folder and all you do is select the folder that you want to hide and then choose. And then it says the folder has been renamed to, to dot secret files. Okay, and so look, it's off of my screen now. And to reveal it, all you do is go back to reveal folder, select it, choose, and okay, and voila, it's back. And you can do the same thing with an individual file. So it's really helpful. Again, another great free application you can get. Okay, um, the next, oh, the next application I want to show you, which I'm not actually going to open, is Skype. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Skype. Let's see if I can bring you to the Skype website. Skype is basically this really amazing video chat slash phone call making <laughs> program. It's basically like it says here, free internet calls. Make free Skype to Skype calls any time of the day, any day of the week, wherever in the world. And it really is true. And the best part is it's some of the best video I've ever seen um, in a video chat. It's better than AIM, AOL Instant Messenger. It's better than, you know, Yahoo's Messenger. It's better than the Gmail's video. It's better than iChat's quality. So it's really a high quality video that you get. And I'm not going to actually open the file because I just realized when I was kind of test running this video that you can see actual people's names, <laughs> friends of mine who I Skype with. And I, you know, I don't, want to have to edit that out so just trust me it's like using aim you're gonna click on it it's gonna pop open uh, you know a list of your friends you're gonna click on them and click the little video button and you make a call to them and you video chat for free over the internet okay so that was Skype and the final uh, the final program I want to show you is not something that you can actually get on the internet for free um, it's actually time machine um, and if you know, Time Machine comes with Leopard, so I consider it free because I didn't actually pay for it, although I did pay for it in the Leopard. But um, Time Machine, as you know, is a backup system. It backs up your hard drive onto an external drive, um, and basically you can set it to back up at a certain frequency, like certain times of day, or on, you know, when you call for it to be, you know when you actually turn it on. So I actually, because I have a laptop, I don't have it constantly plugged into an external and so I have to actually have it set so that I keep it mostly turned off and I just turn it on when I need it. So as you can see it's turned off and um, if I wanted to I could shut it, I could turn it on but then it would start backing up. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long but I had five applications that I wanted to, you know, review for you. If you have any questions or you want to comment, please leave me a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have other applications that are similar to the ones that I mentioned, I'd really love to hear um, basically what you guys are saying about it because I really want to know more about what is out there. I know that I, you know, I feel like I surf the internet a lot and I find a lot of stuff out there, but I know there's still more that I haven't even seen. So thanks for watching. Um, please comment, subscribe, rate my videos, and I will see you later. Bye.